atoms. In this lecture, we will discuss about immunoprecipitation. As we know that immunoprecipitation is a technique that is widely used to purify protein of interest from a mixture of protein. Let let us suppose that uh, we have a test tube or a, or a, or an append of which con contains uh, many 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 proteins, thousands of protein, and our desired protein of interest is also present. So in order to purify that particular protein, we will use this technique, this immunoprecipitation. So by that term you can understand immunoprecipitation, that means we are using antibody to precipitate our desired protein of interest. So, th so that is why this technique is known as immunoprecipitation. Okay, so the antibody used here is usually immobilized on a magnetic bead covered with protein A or G. We will discuss it in the next slide. And this immunoprecipitation technique has a numerical application, like your isolate or to detect our protein of interest, enrichment of low abundant protein. So, so using this technique, immunoprecipitation, the sensitivity of this technique is very high. The sensitivity of this technique is very high compared to Western blood technique. So, uh, this technique can also be used for the enrichment of low abundant protein. It also help us to study about protein-protein uh, interaction and protein complexes. It can also help us to identify those proteins which are present in this protein complex. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So as I, I have said you that antibody are usually immobilized on a bead. Okay, magnetic bead which are covered with this protein AG which are usually present on the surface of this bead. Now this bead the protein which are present on the surface of the bead are usually protein A and protein G. Both protein A and protein G have a very high affinity for this FC region of antibody. Okay, so both so this protein A and G have a very high affinity for the FC region of this antibody, and as a result of this, this antibody FC region is capable of binding to this protein A or G, which are usually present here. And this free FAB will bind to our protein of interest in the solution. So, in most of the cases, the antibody are usually added first, which is known as free antibody approach in the test tube. And after it binds to our target protein, these bead are added so that they will bind to this FC portion and followed by centrifugation that will allow the precipitation. And in most cases, this preformed complex is added. So in this example we can see here antibody this is a free antibody approach technique in which antibody is added first antibody will go and bind to our target protein then we will add this bead coated with protein A or G they will go and bind to the FC region of this antibody and followed by centrifugation all the unbound protein will, will remain in the soup so we will purify that protein that is pelleted down and the sample can then be separated by SDS page for western blood analysis so there are several type of this immunoprecipitation techniques such as cheap co-immunoprecipitation so we will discuss co-immunoprecipitation so co-immunoprecipitation is another technique that is used to identify our protein protein interaction Okay, okay, this this co-immuno precipitation technique has been used to determine many novel protein protein interaction in various species as human C elegans, Drosophila. So let us discuss how this co-immuno precipitation works. Okay. So we can see here a pro the uh, usually the cell lysates are prepared under non-reducing condition. Okay, so uh, the benefit of this non-reducing condition is is that the protein protein interactions are Retain okay under non reducing condition, they are usually not broken off. So, when we will um, isolate the protein or when we will lyse the cell under non reducing condition, these proteins will be released from the cell and we will add our antibody, okay, which is specific to one of this protein. So, antibody will bind to this protein. And if this protein interacts with any other protein in the solution, or if this protein forms a connection complex or interacts with other protein in the solution, 
then this antibody will bind and this protein will also precipitate with this protein so this is known as co-immunoprecipitation because the antibody binds only to our specific protein and if this protein interacts with other protein so these two protein will be co-precipitated down so first step antibody will be added antibody will bind to the our target protein bait if this bait interacts with uh, other protein in the solution such as spray so this protein will be precipitated down along with this antibody then we will add this magnetic bead Fol followed by the addi addition of this magnetic bead we will centrifuge this protein will be precipitated down we will purify the complex run in SDS gel and then evaluate the protein if, research if researchers have predicted potential interactor co-immunoprecipitation co can be coupled with western blood assay as a way of protein interaction validation and if there is no prediction is made that that this protein form complex with which protein then we can use mass spectrometry to identify this new protein okay so i hope you understand and like my video thank you